very nice to meet you. <laughs> I just want to tell you how grateful I am to be here with you today. I'm, sorry, I'm so very grateful for all of you taking time to come here, meet with me, to meet with the ambassador. Um, even before this terrible tragedy, um, as I was briefed into my new duties and I heard about the work you're doing here day to day in Lebanon, I was so extremely impressed to hear what you're doing with the diff different groups, the way you're helping the people. Uh, at USAID, what we do throughout the world is we help local populations. We work with NGOs just like yourselves to help with the affected people. That is desire. Uh, we most want to work with NGOs, people who are close to the ground, who understands the needs of society, which is why um, working with you is something we're trying to repl The way we're working with you is something we're trying to replicate worldwide. We have something called a New Partners Initiative. But what's important is working with groups like yourselves who have close ties to the people who understand the needs of societies to help make our programming more effective. Washington DC doesn't have all the answers. You have the answers. So I want to work with you. I'm certainly assessing what's happened in the aftermath of this terrible human caused tragedy. Assessing our programming, but more, most importantly I want to listen to you because I want to understand your concerns, your needs. What are you seeing in the field? Um, how can uh, we be of assistance to you in helping improve people's lives in the many ways that you do? So we're really here to listen. Make sure that we're doing it right. Tell us what you're hearing from your communities and how we can effect, uh, help you most effectively. And again, you have my profound sympathies. We need to partner with you. Um, our hearts are with you in this terrible time of tragedy get the information to guide our decisions, our investments going forward. It's so necessary. So again, thank you very much. Uh, uh, the crisis and before the explosion, we were going through a lot, uh, uh, looking for a job where jobs are not available. So before the explosion, this was really, uh, we shifted our recession. And I want to say that even with the corona, this is not there, we cannot be able to continue. Uh, thank you again. Uh, if I have X amount of dollars, to invest in things or invest in people, my choice is always to invest in people. So some of the work you're doing with the communities, helping with education, job opportunities, protection. So these are the kind of things that USAID strives to do, to invest in people and communities to build resilience. The work you do investing in people, that is our passion. That is why, that is why I'm honored to be here with you to hear about the work you're doing, because this is the work that helps make communities stronger to deal with adversities. Uh, there are many, many problems. We have to invest in people, but we have to, uh, to, to, uh, to help the people now. In this situation, we send some of our teachers, for example, to the United States. One of them is Ala. The government is responsible about helping them, but the private schools, like our schools, in our uh, hospital, for example, uh, so uh, we are ready and we appreciate and uh, really I appreciate uh, your work with us in Lebanon. Some of uh, you, we have a program with the USAID and thank you for uh, your, uh, your support. 500 people in our center there and we have also a school. So thank you so much uh, for your uh, investment in Lebanon. Faith based and other uh, community organizations close to the people who understand what's going on. So I'll keep working with World Food Program. The United States, proud to say we are the largest donor to the World Food Program. I'll be visiting at World Food Program distribution site to see how we're getting aid out to the people uh, who are suffering because of the explosion. Uh, each of the faith-based organizations that we have today, and we also have others. I've been to many disasters throughout the world in the United States, and often the, the first responders, the people who help, are also victims. So either you suffered yourself personally, you had a family member, somebody you know, and so the work you're doing, oftentimes you're doing it through grief yourself, individual or collective grief. So our, our sympathies are absolutely with you. What is happening, like if we are to be with, uh, it's very hard to recognize and assess all the needs after this 
catastrophic uh, explosion. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your Nadine. 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 Nadine.